Hi, I'm Cameron. This is my MP3 player. Uh, I made an MP3 player out of an Apple and a remote control. So basically the Apple is powered by this 9 volt battery uh, that has the on LED. And if you use this remote, you can change the song. So you press 2. Changes the song. You can use channel up or down to further change the song. So let me go back up to the... You get the idea. Um, you can also change the volume of the song with these buttons here. Um, it was a man. These buttons also change the channel, but they allow you to cycle through the songs first and then change it so you have a decision, uh, as opposed to having to play every single song. Uh, these buttons are all fully functional, so you can rewind the song, fast forward, Pause. Play. You can completely stop it and then restart it with the play button. These keys here are for hot key songs, so if you want to play your favorite songs quickly with the press of a button, play song one, song two, song three. As you can see, it goes to the same song. Uh, there's a mute button. There's a power button, which allows you to put the TNC into a low power sleep mode, which is the microprocessor behind all of this. And you can wake it up. Sleep does the same thing. Um, you can press these two buttons, which are interesting because Aspect, which says anchor on the remote, allows you to select a save point and then go back to it with the last button. Okay, and hopefully you haven't actually believed that the Apple is the MP3 player. The actual MP3 player is in this book here. Here's the on-off switch for the whole deal. The battery is powering it. The screen. song you're on, and if I press the channel up, it'll change the song. Um, this thing is completely self-contained, so if you want to listen to songs by yourself, you can pull out the cord, and then uh, plug in your own headphones, and it'll work perfectly. Um, this all took me probably about 200 hours or so. Uh, the remote does what it's doing um, by me using an IR sensor, which is located right here at the front of the book uh, that I bought from Radio Shack, and basically pressing the remote buttons and detecting what were the waveforms that came out, and then eventually mapping those to numbers, which are input to the microcontroller, and then it can figure out what to do. And that's my project.